Hello from Maui, everybody. I'm Brad Nessler here alongside Dick Vitale for this EA Sports Maui Invitational Consolation matchup between the Marquette Golden Eagles and the Chaminade Silver Swords. Number one is the franchise type player this team turns to night in and night out. His quickness is the key. He can blow by his defenders in isolations, or he can run them off screens to get open looks. The Silver Swords will have quite a challenge on their hands trying to keep him in check. The Silver Swords know this isn't going to be an easy one. What's the key for them tonight, Dick? Hey, the keys for them tonight are simple. Number one, make sure every possession you have is a good possession. Don't turn the rock over. Second, you can't win, baby, if you don't get the glass. You must rebound. Rebounding is the key. Thirdly, don't be passive defensively. Be the initiator and force them to do things they don't want to do offensively. I think you're dead on, Mr. Vitale. Let's see what happens. Let's get this one started. Arm and foul. Oh, the cheerleaders into it big time for their team. They are really involved. I'll tell you one thing. They bring a lot of spirit. Showing maturity by waiting for the O to regroup. Bradford receives the ball. And Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork beating him to the spot. Trying to go inside. And they do. They got on the low block. Pass down low. There's a drop step. And oh, good defense. I thought defense reacted and beat him to the spot. Very poor job with the drop step. Very slow. it up. He got his jumper off by running that defender into the screen. Now trying to feed the low block. Puts it up looking for contact. Drops the bucket despite the harm. Trying to feed the low block. He gets that ball in the low block and immediately goes with a shot. I did a great job of the ball fake that created the up and under move. And good footwork. It's essential with an up and under move to utilize good footwork. Works the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Jumps into the defender. Nice job to create the angle using the glass. Dickey really seems to be getting great position down there in the low block. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Danielson is fired up and ready to go. And you know what, Brad? I'm excited for him. He's putting on a performance. That deserves an encore. Let's watch it here. Obvious foul. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. Patience with the ball as the offense regroups. Oh, right, right there. They missed him inside. You got to get the ball when a guy is open. That's a special warrant. Feet of the post. Nice steal there, but the offense gets the ball back. Step out on that screener. Nick, I think there's a mismatch in the post. They need to get him the ball there. The ball goes out of play. Down inside. And he'll kick it back outside. Ten seconds to put up a shot. The ball handler might be in trouble here. For three. No good. He stays in control until they regroup the offense. 
They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside-outside action always works. He keeps his dribble as they reset. They go into the low block. Here's the offensive drop step up. His shot blocked from behind. He set him up nicely. Jump hook from the low post. They are heating up this building where they're shooting right now, Dick. The hits just keep coming, baby. He uses the shot fake. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coaches dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Looking for a good shot. Coming. Handles the feed. There's the fake. For the bucket. They still don't score. To get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Ball was knocked loose, but the offense got it back. Gave it up. Nice to have you along with us tonight. Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews alongside. I'm Brad Nessler. We got a good one going. That wide stance and the drop step. I tell you, it's all about angles, and if you utilize that drop step, it's like a reverse pivot move. Working around the perimeter. Tremblay handles the pass. The ball goes out of bounds. Everybody into the act right now, and you can tell by the cheerleaders on the sideline how things are going. Isn't that what makes college so special? The enthusiasm of the cheerleaders, the mascot, everybody involved. You talk about a packed house. Look at this crowd. I tell you, coach's dream, baby. This gives you that edge. Nolan receives the pass. Definitely a foul. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. And a momentary look from three-point land. Tries for two. That's still unanswered. Change might be in order, don't you think, Dick? I wouldn't be surprised if they changed things up a little bit, Brad. Jumped in front to take it away. On the dribble, gives it up. Great steal. I think the pressure was just too much. Tremendous pressure, just enough to force the steal. Jump hook from the low block. I tell you, didn't waste any time. He got the ball in the right position. And then what it does, it keeps the defensive player away from blocking a shot when you make that turn. And there's a lazy pass. It's stolen away. Turnover. Will it turn into two the other way? Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. Gets the rejection. What an unbelievable play, rotating over. Scorches the net. There's a bad pass right to the defender. On the outside. an open look if he wants it. Overplays on the pass, and he didn't get the steal. Oh, he's humiliated. Poor job defensively. <laughs> on the inside. They're pushing that basketball. Help one another. Communicate. Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing. He's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off.
a skip pass is picked off. Gave it up. Good job defensively. They don't get back in a hurry. On the dribble, gives it up from the top of the key. Way off target. Goes up for two. It would be nice if he could get some assistance out there. That young man is doing it all for his team right now. He's getting it done out there, Brad. They'd be in trouble without him. Dick, he's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I tell you, doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. Moving it around the perimeter. Double team now, bad angle. Blocks it. Got the high pick. Marquette have gotten themselves into a bit of a rhythm on offense, Dick. They're really on a nice run right here. And we've got a whistle and a foul. All right, let's check in third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. Guys, this is not the start he wanted tonight. He is his team's marquee performer, and his slow start could be a recipe for disaster. We'll have to see how his teammates respond to all this, and we'll continue to monitor it from the sidelines. Brad? Thanks, Aaron. Looking for a good shot. He pulls the trigger. Dick, they really need to get something going in a hurry here. Yeah, call a timeout and get your boys into the game, Brad. around the arc. Dick, they're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job on a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. Up fake. Now the turnaround jumper. The Golden Eagles have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. He gets the rejection. Both teams are looking to get something going here. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Pushing that basketball. Steele, go up the other way, get a layup. He fires it up. Gets it to go. Replay is queued up. Let's watch it again. There they come with a double team to stop it. And they get the turnover. Change in possession. The defense knocked it loose, then went and got it. It sticks. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Leans in. Up and in. This one deserves another look, Brad. Great pressure, great double team, really explosive. 
There's the pick. There's the roll. This crowd is unbelievable tonight. Oh, they're emotional. They're back. They're jammed. You can't find an empty seat. The Golden Eagles go to the line for the first time in this game. Rims off. Second one is good. On the outside, here's a double team. On the top of the circle, he buried that one from way deep. Thinks about the shot. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Owen, pump fakes. High post screen. So effective, that screen. Dickey's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. Stolen away. Had a momentary look from three-point land. He strokes it. It's good. A little bit of a collision there, but no foul call there. I tell you, good call by the official. Not blowing a whistle. I think it's an excellent call. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low. They had his shot block. And the ball goes out of play. There's the trap. And the ball goes out of bounds. Oh, that's going to be a costly turnover. Dick. I'll tell you, turnovers can absolutely destroy a team. Oh, poor job. Poor job offensively. I'm coaching. He's sitting next to me as an assistant coach. <laughs> He's pounding the ball with a deck. Where's he going? Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc looking for the open jumper. Up it inside. <laughs> Tries to get the D to bite. Tough spot defensively in the post, but he got the steal. Wow, I could have made that steal. He telegraphed that. He was the Marconi guy. What a poor pass. The ball goes out of play. And that's one too many turnovers. Yeah, those turnovers are really a nightmare, especially when they lead to layups. He's got the post flashing if he wants it. That's a foul. High post flashes. He shoots from right of the circle. Goes in. Boy, terrible execution on offense. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. They're working around the perimeter. 
Those long arms trying to get it in front three quarters. I'll tell you one thing, that big guy down inside, though, is so big that really it's tough to deny him the ball. He strips him clean. Goes up for two. Dick, you think they're going to stay this hot? Hey, it doesn't look like they're slowing down, my friend. They'll work it around the arc. Gets the ball and now faces his man down in the low block. Oh, very aggressive player once he got up in the face-up position in the post. They work the perimeter. Picked off. And he'll kick it back outside. High post screen, gonna use it. Perfectly executed. Cross court. He intercepts it. Defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle, Dick. I think it's very essential that you establish post position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle. Steals a pass. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Set that screen away. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. I tell you, just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. There's a double team waiting there. Stolen away. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you what, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. Gave it up in the paint. Here they come with a double team to stop it. Working it around the perimeter. Looking for the foul. Up, easy one. On the outside. Looking to move it around the perimeter. For two. Great play to take that to the basket. Looking for a good shot. On the dribble, gives it up on the inside. Double team now, bad angle. He takes the shot from the baseline. He buries it. You can see on the replay how this one goes down. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. off the lazy pass. Fakes the shot. Goes for the deep one. Tickles a twine. From way downtown. Off the rim and no good. At the end of the first half, the Golden Eagles lead by 11. Let's take a look back and watch the play of the half.
Tremblay has really had a pretty good night, I'd say. I'll tell you, his performance so far is nowhere close to what he's capable of, Brad. But the opposing team came in with a plan to contain him, and they've been doing just that. It'll be interesting to see how he'll respond in the second half. Start of the second half, Dick, our focus player update. What's he got to get done in the second half for them to win? I would run him off screens on a right and left. I would set up screens and have him pop out to shoot that trifecta. They strip him in a basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there. The point guard with the ball. High post player flashing. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job in post-defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. Up and inside! He goes for the trifecta. Way off target. Pump fakes. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. My goodness, Mr. Nestler, that was phenomenal, baby. He throws up the shot. He gets it to go. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box, looking for contact. Instead of giving him that, use a foul. Here he comes defensively on him on the low block, Dick. I tell you, three-quarter position, trying to deny, but then he does a great job in post position and spreading his body and getting the ball. Gave it up. Intercepted. Now they work it around the perimeter. From way outside. He drains it. He's just not giving the effort on defense. He's not putting up a good fight at all. Basin. Takes away the pass. The point guard takes the pass. On the outside. High post screen. Easy one. The Silver Swords are down by 16. Dumps it in. Jumped in front to take it away. For the deuce. Basket falls despite the contact. Working around the perimeter. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipating really well. They're working around the arc. He shoots from right of the circle. Off the rim and no good. Dick, they're ripping up the nets tonight. And they're definitely shooting the ball well tonight. Great execution by these boys. Dick, he's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I tell you, doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. Picked out of the air. You really need to protect the ball around these guys. Looking for a good shot. On the dribble, gives it up. He used the screen beautifully to free himself for the easy deuce. Gave it up for the bucket and off the mark. He gets it to go. Let's go to the instant replay camera. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. 
Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Picked off. On the dribble, gives it up. Picked out of the air. He's in the clear. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. The ball goes out of bounds. Those are the types of plays you want a lot of. These kids are on a roll. Look at them celebrating with one another. I'd celebrate too, partner. They are playing some great basketball at the moment. Gave it up. The center takes the pass in the paint. Got to think right now. Got to focus defensively. He fires away. Trying to draw the foul. Up and in. Great defensive play. Anticipating well. When you're an anticipator, you've got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. They work the perimeter. The center gets the ball. Turnover City now always really the gate. Any offense for two. But easy one. The Silver Swords are trailing by 18. Picks off the lazy pass. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. The Silver Swords are down by 20. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. They say forget about it. And then he does a little dribbling act here and turns it over. The power forward takes the feed. Run him right at the screen again. What did I say? Dick, it's really been a while since I've seen a team shoot like this. Hey, every once in a while, you'll get a squad that gets on a tear and simply makes your jaw drop. It's fun to watch, isn't it, Brad? There's the trap. Stolen ball. Foul charge. Well, there's a turnover situation. I guess most notable, the number of points off turnover. Well, Mr. Nestle, that's why you want to take care of the basketball. You want to protect it. Turnovers will result in points being scored at the other end. That's one statistic which coaches always monitor. From downtown, he buries the shot. That's a 9-0 run. The shooting guard gets the pass. The offensive guy now is gaining position down there on the low block, Dick. I tell you, he gained big time position by getting the good angle, the good arm entry, and the real extension. Before the game, this is the one guy they need to get going quickly and early. They said when he gets hot, his entire team will follow suit, and they'll feel good about having the game in hand. All right, thanks, Aaron. Goes up for two. 
Dick, how's he working him defensively? I tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help side. For the bucket. This one's turned it into a big blowout, baby. Time to pick up the defense here now. He shoots from the top of the key. He gets it to fall. Tries for two. Doesn't go. The lay -in. The Golden Eagles are ahead by 25. Fakes a jumper. There's a nice block from behind, Dick. Yeah, that's good timing for the defense. I wish they were a foul. The coach not happy on the sideline. On the dribble, gives it up. Takes the pass in the paint. Goes. The Golden Eagles are up by 27. The Golden Eagles are beginning to get that additional exposure, especially with all the recent success in the postseason. That's why it's so important to make it to the tournament. Once you get there, you then know what it takes to get back to it. They didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. For the deuce. And he scores it off the glass. up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Nice move with a face up. I'll tell you one thing, Brown. I like guys that are versatile in that post. Facing up is a way to take advantage of three basic moves. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Any chance for a comeback in this blowout, Dick? I'd have to see it to believe it. I don't think there's enough time. He takes it away. For two. This team right now just lighting it up from everywhere. Hey, they're finding each other in rhythm with their passing, Brad. That makes a huge difference in how shooters shoot. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. For two. I tell you, does a great job getting post position. Hey, Brad, that shot's impossible to stop. It's unbelievable. It's not utilized enough. For the bucket, rims out. Jumps in, and in and out. There they are on the low block on the move inside, and the big guy picks up the foul. Hey, Brad, you can't allow a guy to get the ball in that deep, and he does a great job putting it to the deck and attacking the basket. And, Dick, this is just playing good defense. He really does a great job with his footwork beating him to the spot. Picked off. He attempts the trifecta. Off the rim and no good. A severe offensive drop for them right now, Dick. And it doesn't seem to be turning around as of yet, Brad. And the ball goes out of play. Oh, and look at the crowd and look at the reaction. I did the whole fans are going crazy. There's jubilation. Nice move with the face up. I tell you one thing, Brad. I like guys that are versatile in that post. Facing up is a way to take advantage of three basic moves. Coming inside. He shoots. 
Marquette are on a nice little run at the moment. Hey, they have to keep pushing and seeing if they can force a timeout. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc looking for the open jumper. That's an ill-advised shot. Yeah, that's horrible, Mr. Nestler. Horrible shot selection. Way out on top, controlling the ball. On the outside, count that as a personal foul. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. How important is it to get to the free throw line? Well, you know, those bonus points, Brad, you get those simple points. They add up at the end, plus you get people into foul trouble. Gets his second. Nick, they're really going to have to monitor this because they've hit the bottom mentally. They're really going to be in some big, big trouble. Nice high post screen. No good. Great defense. Looking for a screen on top and got it. Tries for two. Rims out. Here's a double team. Try to come up with a steal, and they do. Working it around the perimeter. Now the high screen. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. They work it around the perimeter. Here's the offensive drop step in the low block, but better defense. I tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. Goes up for two, and off the mark. He shoots from long range. Nice shot. Play that back for me one time. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. For the bucket, and he scores despite the hack. Working around the perimeter. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Well, Dick, this game is all but over. It sure is, Brad. They have no chance of getting back into this one. He kept the ball on the floor and waited for his teammate to set that screen for the sweet jumper. Boy, that was beautiful. With the catch. Nice execution on the spin. I'll tell you, a great spin move to the basket. Jumped in front to take it away. On the outside. Tempo of the game, really important here. You want to establish a good tempo. He shoots from right of the circle. He makes the shot. Good job defensively. They just won't give him any openings. Pressure in the basketball. Scorches the net. Take 
takes away the pass. It's a fast break possibility. Goes up for two. Buried it. Coming inside. And they come with a double team to stop it. The Golden Eagles have a mismatch in the post. It's definitely a mismatch. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job in post defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. He's got a high post flasher. Gave it up. Work it inside, and he tries a drop step. Defense, and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Paying dividends tonight, Dick. That's right, Brad. All their bills are getting paid from New York, baby. <laughs> On the dribble, gives it up. And now they'll bring it up. He intercepts it. Transition opportunity coming up. Trying to draw some contact. The land. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. Steal. He got the ball back down to the floor and he stripped them. Rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Picked out of the air. And the ball goes out of bounds. And again, let's take a look at that State Farm drive of the game, Dick. Hey, the ability to get to the paint is one thing, Brad, but he also demonstrated the ability to finish as well. That's awesome, baby, with a capital A. front court steals the ball our focus player update our final one of the ball game and he led his team to victory I tell you one thing he was sensational he made all big shots he really wanted the ball I thought he was very aggressive offensively Chaminade find themselves humiliated in this blowout loss. After a game like that, it's hard to believe that these two teams were close in the standings. Brad Nessler saying so long for my partners Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews. Thanks for joining us.